apron, a garment commonly used for protecting clothing while baking or cooking, but they can also be handy to wear during house cleaning or gardening, and they can be as beautiful as they are functional. Homemakers in the 1950s often had a variety of aprons to coordinate with different dresses and various holidays. The waist apron became popular during this time period as they were often very fashionable and were made to enhance a woman's hourglass figure. I am a beginner sewer, meaning that I know very basic stitches, but I am trying to learn more and what better way to learn than with practice. So I set out on the internet and searched for a beginner friendly pattern so that I could make my own apron. And as I was searching, I came across this beauty by Flamingo Toes on skiptomaloo.org. And then I reached out to Cindy at Skip to My Lou and asked her if I could use this pattern on my channel and she was kind enough to say yes. If you haven't checked out this website, I highly recommend it. It's got a variety of recipes, craft projects, patterns and ideas, and so much more. And I'll have the link to this apron in the description box below. The first thing we're gonna do is lay out our handkerchiefs and see which order we'd lock them in. We need two rows of three handkerchiefs. And if you have a collection of vintage handkerchiefs, those would be beautiful in this project. Unfortunately, I didn't have any vintage ones, but I found this set of 10 on Amazon. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pick out my six favorite, and then I'm gonna lay them out and figure out what pattern I like best. Next, we need to cut out our lining piece. And I actually have this scrap piece of cotton and it was exactly 15 by 33, so I didn't have to trim it. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna hem the two short sides and the bottom. Now we're going to sew together our handkerchiefs. You want to lay out and overlap your handkerchiefs so that the prettiest edges are on top. And then we're going to sew them together and make two strips of three. After sewn together, we want to sew an easing stitch or a gathering stitch at the top edge. And this was my first time doing a gathering stitch. It's basically the longest stitch setting on your sewing machine. And you wanna sew all across the top of the three handkerchiefs. You do not wanna back stitch at the beginning or the end. And make sure you leave three to four inches of thread at the beginning and at the end so that you can pull them and gather your fabric.
Next, we're going to lay out our lining fabric and we're going to decide which row of handkerchiefs we'd like as our bottom ruffle of our apron. Then we're going to lay this on the lining so that it hangs over the bottom about an inch. And it should measure from the top of the lining fabric to the bottom of the handkerchief about 15 inches. We're going to pin this in place and sew the ruffle down. The handkerchiefs should also overlap the sides by a little bit. Next, we have our top row of handkerchiefs. They should be sewn together with the easing stitch along the top. We're going to line up the top of the handkerchiefs with the top of the lining, and we're going to baste these together with a gathering stitch. And then we're going to gather the top edge until it measures about 18 inches. Now we want to cut a length of our blanket binding, about two and a half yards. This is going to be our waistband and our tie strings. We want to fold it in half and measure out the center 18 inches and mark it with pins. And then we're going to place the apron skirt between the pins in the opening of the binding. Pin everything in place and we're going to sew the binding closed all along the open bottom edge, sewing the apron skirt in place as we go. You can also fold in the ends if you wish to form an angled end. And that's it. This apron worked up so quick and it's so pretty. This would make such a sweet and thoughtful gift. You could give it as a housewarming present, birthday gift, or even a gift at Christmas. I hope you all try this out. And please go and check out skiptomaloo.org. And I thank you all so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.